Hi everybody. It is Friday, May 13th, the day after Victory Ice Cream Thursday. And I'm really sorry this video is late, but just because it is a day late doesn't mean I didn't celebrate Victory Ice Cream Thursday. Um, I was just a little bit too inebriated last night to really consider embarrassing myself with a video. Well, I did go out last night, and that leads into and is part of my very first victory of the week. For the past couple of months, I've been a real hermit. I, um, I haven't left my house, really, except for work and rehearsals, and that's pretty much it. Um, now, you know, work pays the bills, and... Rehearsals are wonderful because acting is the love of my life, but it's not a whole life, so, and I mean, sure, I've had friends come into the apartment, but I really spend altogether too much time in a place that I really, 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 really hate. Um, so last night, a couple of my friends invited me to go out. And I did. And it was so much fun. I talked to people. I was out of the house until 2 o'clock in the morning. I got raging drunk. It, which may not be a victory, but it was... I've never been the kind of person to become incoherent when drunk. I just stumble like a maniac and can't seem to keep my balance. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, I took a leap of faith, I left my house, and it was so much fun. And my second victory actually stems from the first. Anybody who knows me will tell you that I don't like conflict. It makes me feel icky because there's usually no reason for it in our in our day-to-day -day lives and um, a couple years ago there was a conflict with a guy who had previously been a friend of mine and it got kind of ugly and we didn't talk to each other afterwards and it's been hanging over my head for a couple of years and not badly it's just every once in a while I would stop and think about it and wince because I don't like negative emotion hanging over my head. Well, last night, he was at the bar we went to. And we didn't even recognize each other. We've changed so much since then. And um, he couldn't even remember why we'd been fighting. And needless to say, we're okay now. And he's been doing great and I've been doing great, and it's been, it was wonderful. He's grown up, I've grown up, and that nasty negative emotion that's been plaguing me for the past, Jesus, two years is gone. And it's a remarkably uplifting feeling. I also recorded, again, for the very first time in weeks, and it is such an amazing feeling. Basically, for Mother's Day, I made my mom a card because I, I love doing that hallmarky kind of shit. And I wrote her a poem in it. It was only three lines, not big. And then the very next day, I started looking at the poem, and I thought it didn't feel finished. So I sat that day, and I wrote an entire poem dedicated to my mother and I put it up on hit record and is it the best record ever no is it the best thing I've ever done no but does it feel wonderful to be interacting with everybody there again yes 100% yes and I'm still getting ready to do my next stop motion animation I just have to finish getting some supplies for it and I finished a new painting 
for the shadow collaboration that's been going around Hit Record for quite a while. So great, big, exciting things there. And last but not least, the very first rehearsal for our new show, Butterflies Are Free, goes up on Saturday. So I'm finally getting back into the swing of things, and I feel like myself again. And nothing in the world could feel better. It's... I finally, fla I finally found Cloud Nine, kids even after taking a few wrong turns at Albuquerque. All right, well, that's me for the week. And I hope that each and every single one of you has just as much to celebrate about. I hope that you ate your ice cream. I hope that you celebrated because God knows there's always something to celebrate about. And that's my favorite part of Victory Ice Cream, is no matter how rotten, how horrible, how dark a week seems, you always strive to find that which is not. And it's the best part of my week. I hope it's the best part of yours. I hope each and every single one of you remember that there are reasons to smile each and every single day, no matter what. All right, that's all from me. I will see each and every single one of you next week. Until then, guys. <laughs>